Yeah, what's up, people? It's Tino's Fest 1989. I'm back to do a video. Yes. Um, sorry to hear this, but when I was hearing about this, that Lance K has passed away yesterday. At I don't know. They they found him dead by heart failure, and they were saying that it has to do with painkillers and all that. But all of a sudden, you know, Lance K suffered a a illness of a seizure back in 2008 that's why he asked for his release in the WWE and that wasn't just his first release that was his second release and another death of pro wrestling how how worse could it get like how many wrestlers have been dying for years for the past 30 years wrestling. a lot of superstars been dying and all I gotta say man I met Lance K person and you know he was a nice guy. He was really humble and he was laid back and you know, for him for him to go like that, such a young age of twenty nine years old and wow, sucks. And you know, it sucks, you know, you can live life you can with pro wrestling is so many deaths. And you know, I respect the, the pro wrestlers for all, you know, watching wrestling for years and you know, I've been watching wrestling for a long time, you know. And Lance Cade, God, he wasn't a great, he wasn't my favorite wrestler, but I liked how he wrestled. Back in, he reminds me of Bradshaw, of his time, you know? And, you know, for Lance Cade to die like that at 29 years old, you know? It's, right there, shocking, you know? For just a young guy, like, he's not even in his 30s yet. And, the last death before, <clears throat> excuse me, the last death before um, Lance K was Umaga and Eddie fought too. But Lance K, come on, are you serious? He looked like he was in good shape, he was in good health and all that, and all of a sudden he dies just like that. That was like, that was like, damn. You know, I've been watching Lance K for a long time, since 2003 at least. It's like, seven eight years at least I got to see him and I'm and I met him in person and I got a picture of him signing autographs and whatever and yeah I gotta say dude it's that Lance K man just was great as a tag team of Trevor Murdoch and yeah Trevor Murdoch and Lance K did this the move the maneuver called sweet and sour which is one of the best moves I've ever seen as a tag team stable power powerhouse special and you know it just sucks to see him go like that so I gotta say that you know we wish for his family condolences we wish for the condolences of Kay's family you know he has two daughters and you know it sucks to see Lance Kay's um, daughters lose their dad like that you know being in a row 24-7 they should have you know, a break for like at least a month or two. Like my friend, the G Rod 883. That's one of my, that's my, that's my best friend right there, my homeboy, my my dog. You know, I want you to subscribe to that guy. He's good in his wrestling videos. In his last two wrestling videos, I'm gonna plug him. And I'm gonna plug ECW fan 305. And you know, I'm gonna plug a lot of people, even good in my work. Guys that you wanna see, they're very interesting to watch. And I recommend those guys. They're gonna have a future in them. And me, Tino Fest, 1989, of course. Been doing videos since 2009, uh, November of 2009. Well, originally it was 2007, my old account, Fireblaze129. But Tino Fest, 1989 is my new account. So, yeah. And, you know, like I said, when I was K, he, he died so soon. He was too young, you know, 29 fucking years old. How can the world go, man? Next thing you know, the next guy, you know, could, I don't want to spread it, but it probably the brain heating on the way his condition is. Man, he doesn't look like he's in great shape, man. Like I said, it's sad to see those guys go like that. And yes, all right guys, take it easy. It's Tino Fest 1989. I'm back, and I'm used to doing this video for last case, and it's a shame, you know? So young. Alright, take it easy.